The giant daimyo belongs to the Soprinity family. They are liked by many people due to their peaceful, docile nature and beautiful appearance. This giant fish species is very hardy. Therefore, they are easy to care for. These types of daimyos are abundantly found in northern India and its neighboring countries. They usually prefer fast-moving, slightly acidic water with proper vegetation around them. They should be kept in a school of at least 7 to 8 fish. Let's take a look at some of the most suitable tank mates for giant daimyo. Welcome to Finding Fishes, let's get started. Tiger barbs are one of the most active and full of life fish, who are loved by most fish keepers due to their playful and active behavior. They come in a variety of color forms, are relatively easy to care for, and just love to play and show off. Though they have a bit of a reputation as nuisance fin nippers, these fish are not harmful and will do just fine in the right tank. These fish are fairly easy to care for. These fish are naturally found throughout Southeast Asia, and they originate in Borneo, Indonesia, and Sumatra. It is also known as the Sumatra barb. They must be kept in a school of at least six individuals. When kept in a group too small, they are more likely to harass other tank mates. They will be a great tank mate for giant daimyo. Zebra daimyos are smaller cousin of giant daimyo. They are one of the most popular freshwater species found within the aquarium hobby and have been selectively bred and genetically modified to change their appearance. Daimyos are a very hardy and social species making them the perfect fish for any beginner and will add a spark to any community aquarium. These fish are native to bodies of water throughout India and Bangladesh. Quite peaceful by nature, zebra daimyos are the quintessential community fish. In fact, many aquarists use them as dither fish to promote more social behaviors out of other fish. They can be found in lots of different color variations, and as a shoaling species, they add diversity and animation to your tank. The typical zebra daimyo size is around 2 to 2 and a half inches long. They will be a great tank buddy to giant daimyo. The freshwater angelfish is a very popular tropical fish because of its unique shape and because of their interesting personalities. It is not a true angelfish at all, but a type of cichlid. They are known as angelfish due to the wing-like shape of their fins. Their beauty earns them the title king of the aquarium in many fishkeeping tanks. They belongs to the cichlidae family. This family includes all species of freshwater cichlids. They are found in the river basin and its tributaries in Peru, Colombia, and Guiana. Like most cichlids, they can be quite aggressive. However, they are not as aggressive as other cichlids. They are not likely to bully others outside of their school. They should be a good tank mate for giant daimyo. Plecos are a very popular freshwater fish. They are a freshwater species of armored catfish belonging to the Laricoriidae family. There are more than 150 species of plecos identified today. Plecos come in a range of colors and patterns, and all plecos have elongated bodies with four rows of bone plates and large, curved fins. They help keep the tank clean by eating algae and unwanted food that sinks to the bottom of the tank. Originally, this species comes from South America. Specifically, they are abundant in countries like Brazil, the Guianas, and Trinidad and Tobago. Plecos are a popular choice amongst aquarists because of their unique appearance and tank cleaning abilities. Plecos are peaceful fish that can be housed in a community tank. They are really hardy and easy to care. They should be a great tank mate for giant daimyo. The clown loach is one of the most popular aquarium fish due to its distinct colors and playful behavior. These fish are easy to care for and absolutely beautiful. This makes them a great choice for beginners who want to add a splash of color to their tank. The clown loach is a tropical freshwater fish species of the family Batidae. They are native to the Indonesian islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Hardy and easy to care for, clown loaches are an excellent choice for aquarists of any skill level. The average clown loach size, when fully grown is around 12 inches. It's said that they can get a bit longer in the wild, but most fish will max out at this length when kept in captivity. They are best kept in large community tanks in a shoal containing at least five individuals. If you keep less than five you will find them to be very timid and shy, spending most of their time hiding. They should get along well with giant daimyo. The Cori catfish is one of our most recommended freshwater fishes for aquarists of all experience levels. They are peaceful, easy to care for, and often, one of the first fish that an enthusiast will get. Often found in shoals in large community tanks, they are beautiful additions that bring personality to the lower levels of the tank. Like most catfish, these guys are bottom dwellers. They can also help keep the tank clean by scavenging for food. 
These fish are native to South America and regions east of the Andes Mountains, extending all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Cory fish are bottom-dwelling and like to hide or rest during the day, but in the evening will shoal with other fish. Because cory fish are tropical fish, they require warmer waters at 70 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature must also be consistent, as dramatic changes can lead to stress unless you are trying to induce breeding. Cory catfish spend most of their time at the very lowest levels of the water, so keep at least 2 inches of substrate on the bottom of the tank. They will be a great tank mate for giant danio. The firemouth cichlid is a beautiful and vibrant freshwater fish that brings a special splash of color to any tank. This brightly colored fish is easy to care for. They are hardy and peaceful but very territorial and bring a fiery flair to your tank. The firemouth cichlid is a member of the cichlidae family and is found in the rivers of Central America. They are hardy, peaceful fish. It is semi-territorial and can become aggressive during spawning seasons. If properly cared for, Firemouths can live for 8 to 10 years. One of the reasons why this species is so popular among fish keepers is the convenience. Caring for them is fairly straightforward and they don't need a large tank to thrive. They are not schooling fish and in their natural habitat males tend to live separately tending to their own territory. One of the most important things to look out for when it comes to firemouth cichlid care is the water conditions. The quality of the water and parameters in their tank are very important to this fish. Firemouth cichlids are the ideal fish in a community aquarium with tank mates of a similar size. They should be a great tank mate for giant danio. The silver dollar fish is a popular and unique freshwater fish. They are peaceful medium-sized fish, ideal for community aquariums. These fish are relatively low maintenance and will live for a long time if you hold up your end of the bargain. These silvery colored fish get their name from how they look. Literally flattened, they look exactly like an old silver dollar. They belong to the Chiracidae family, the same family as Piranha and Pecos. However, in contrast to their more aggressive relatives, they are peaceful herbivorous fish, perfect for large-size community aquariums. The silver dollar fish can be found all throughout South America in rivers that contain heavy amounts of long vegetation. Their tall and thin build makes them perfect for navigating this environment and swimming between stems with ease. They are large peaceful schooling fish that need plenty of swimming space. You should keep them in a group of at least five individuals. They can be quite skittish and reclusive if kept alone. The typical silver dollar fish lifespan is roughly 10 years. They should be great tank mate for giant danio. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.